Alright. <sighs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video that me and Bad Quality HD Camera are filming for you guys. Hello. So, in one of the previous videos, I talked about how I wanted to get all my Muska models together, which is a whopping three. And kind of like, discuss them. So we're going to do that in this video. I guess shit like this. The Super 2000. S Mosca. Circa Mosca. My favorite one. But, as always, I got something to open. And waste you guys time. This is from Full Court Classics. They're like a huge vintage clothing company out of Florida. Not too far from here. I need to go down there one day and visit maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But I'm down to do that. <clears throat> I got a shirt that I thought was kind of funny. I don't want to get all political in the comments. So I saw this. I thought it was cool and figured why not. It's an old birdhouse graphic that they redid with Trump right there. It's called the Trump Ecutioner, I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know. I can't read very well. But this is fucking sick. I mean, you guys pretty much know I'm a sucker for old skate shit, so why not? But anyways, that's all I got today. I didn't get shit in the mail. But I do have these puppies right here. I don't think I've seen a better condition as Muska. This fucking thing is amazing. The new buck still like perfect. The sole still rubber, not plastic. This thing is great. But yeah, this is the first Muska Pro Model shoe. A lot of you guys already know that. But this shoe is actually a lot of people's favorite Muska. But this one's mine. But this shoe is still sick and I wish S could figure out a way to like reissue these but please dear god keep this sole don't go with something different this sole like fits the whole upper I feel like with a different sole it doesn't suit it very well I've seen some people mash up and shit but I don't know they look cool but nothing beats that original sole right there and one thing that's weird is I don't think Muska has a shoe sponsor right now so now would be the perfect time for S to do that because I think Supra actually went under recently. I may be wrong, but I've heard people say that Supra's site is down and blah, blah, and their team's dismembered, dismantled. Dismembered? Dis Dis yeah, yeah dismembered. They're, all, they're all cut yeah. up to pieces and stuff, yeah. Killed Texas Chainsaw Massacre style. <laughs> I told y'all, dude, I'm fucking retarded. Straight up. It's probably not the politically correct term to use. Yeah, we're probably going to get a ban from YouTube for using that word. I am mentally challenged. There you go. Yeah, that suits me. All right, but I wanted to show you guys that this shoe right here is essentially a mashup of the S Muska and the Circa CM901. Did I get that right? Yeah. Fuck. I can't remember all those numbers. There's just so much in this shoe that, you know, I mean, this shoe was expensive. It was $200 when it came out, but that's Muska style. I mean, what do you expect? Do you expect Muska to come out with a $75 shoe? No, not gonna happen. Ever since this shoe right here, so I think this was the first one that was like really expensive. I think the MSRP on these was like 98 bucks, something that's like, you know, basic, but at the time it was expensive. But the thing was, is a lot of shops were charging more. So I heard rumors of these being up to like 150 at a shop. People out in Australia said these things were like $250. So they were fucking expensive. And that's why these were fucking pricey too, because he has to keep that same like heritage going on, I feel. I don't know Muska personally, so this is what I think is going through his mind. As you can tell, this shoe, I can only hold two shoes at a time or else I'll hold them all and show you. But the lace loops on this is the same as the ones on this one. See that little split rubber, whatever. It's hard to point that out with two shoes in my hand. But yeah, so it's like the same thing. That Brandon? Trying to, yeah. Okay. There, maybe that's better. But yeah, similar lace loop design. So they kind of pretty much just swapped that over instead of saying S on it, it has a little super symbol there. But then at the same time, this little red string 
damn it, this is impossible. That little red string loop right there was incorporated from these, which it's plastic on these, but they utilize both lace options, mix them between the two, and as you can blatantly tell, this whole panel right here was straight off of that 901, which is cool to see. This shoe is more identical to the 901. It just has some cues from that S Mosca model, like this mesh side right here, this little piece. I incorporated that. But a lot of the stuff is the same. Like this has a set of Circa footwear right there. It has Supra logos, pull tabs. All that shit's pretty much the same. The whole toe panel's almost the same. Just a little bit longer. But dude. Man, these are so sick. I'm still stoked on these, dude. Thank you, Matt, so much for these, man. I need to get these, like, framed with, like, a backlight. All right, anyways, put that up. Obviously, the sole on these is shit. I cannot wear these. Like, I, man, I love these shoes, but that chunky boy right there? I can't do that, man. It's like the Fila Disruptors, bro. I've said it a million times, but I fucking hate You know what? Ooh. I hate this. You see this? That's how the tongue should be. The tongue strap pulls it back down. I'm gonna cut these out. No, dude, no. God dang it, man. <laughs> I got to. So, one thing, also, I'll go over in this video while we're here, and I got them on my feet. I cut the tongue straps out of these. As you can see, I crudely did it in this pair. Uh, the other pair, I kind of like tidied it up some. With these, which is the same thing with these, the tongue straps were like pulling the tongue all the way down like that. It's like bunched up. So I cut them to free it. Release the tongue, free the tongue. And one thing I was worried about though when I did this was if the shoe was gonna like flop off my heel when I walked and shit. And I really love these shoes, so I was like really nervous about cutting them. But I did it and it actually, they're lace loose and they still stay on my foot. They don't slip off or anything. So if that's your concern, you'll be fine. I don't have them lace tight. I don't think so. Some people lace them looser than this. Looks great. And I'm about to do that to, to these as well. Ugh. And see what it's like. Should free it up some, man. Because that does the same thing. Like you can tell right there. If you look at it, it's all bunched up. The tongue. And that's why I cut these straps out. I mean, I know I'm one always advocating for tongue straps and skate shoes. But sometimes, man... For like shoes I just want to wear. I don't want that tongue fucking being like that. Bastards. It's just like a tooling issue or something. I think is what uh, Heavy Set told me. Yeah, they just kind of like misplaced the tongue strap on there. Put it in the wrong spot. I wonder if this can cut it. I use scissors on these shoes. <clears throat> oh yeah. Quick and easy. There we go. Yeah, look at that, bro. Now it's like a 901 tongue. It actually sticks up. Look at the difference. Damn, that's why I cut those tongue straps out. I don't know how it fits though. Dude, fuck yeah. See that? Way better. Yeah. And shoes like these, um, you don't really have to worry about the tongue sliding over. When they're tall like this, they usually catch themselves on the side before they slide over. It's when they're fucking low like these ones. Like if I were to cut the straps on these, those would just slide right over. They don't have any room for the tongue to like catch and stop it from doing it. But Dude, yeah. Ooh, yeah, look at that little hidden stash pocket. The original version. Velcroed down. I'm over here holding the fucking foam. Get that in camera? Alright. 
Yeah, that's pretty sick. That one. And then this one that I still can't open. Brian, remember that? Yeah. Your mom remembers that. I mean, it does sound like a good time. Maybe I could watch one day. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> and the Muska 2000 one that I can't open. This one's like perfect, dude. Honestly, I don't smoke or anything, so like having a fucking tongue pocket is kind of pointless. But maybe I can toss my pogs in there. I actually don't own any of those. It'll be pretty cool to have those again, though. But yeah, what do you guys think Muska is gonna do shoe wise? Do you think he might go back to S? It makes sense. At least to do one shoe. I mean, shit. Might as well. He only had one shoe on there, so. Why not let them reissue his shoe like he did, or like he let Shorty's reissue his boards? Be like a quick cash grab. Or do y'all think he's gonna start a whole nother brand? I know he's starting a board brand called Muska Skateboards, but I don't know what he's gonna do shoe-wise, especially if Super actually is down. But yeah, that's it, man. If y'all guys have any questions about any of these shoes, let us know in the comments. And I'll let Brandon try to answer them because he doesn't know anything about any of these. Yeah. Dude, if I answered all these questions, that'd be kind of funny, actually. Just come up with the most random shit ever. Yeah. Your replies would be so fucked. <laughs> Completely unrelated. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, what? How's the tongue straps on those shoes? And you'd be like, I don't know, but my 350Z slides pretty well in third gear. Yeah, if you go to page 194 <laughs> in the, the Haynes Nissan 240SX book, you'll you'll probably figure it out. All right. Let's quit wasting these people's time. <laughs> all right, let's all get back to y'all Saturday activities. That's if you're watching this video on a Saturday. There's one more thing I want to go over. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, today I found out, which is Sunday, but, um... Apparently, Shorty Skateboards has Muska t-shirts and Muska hoodies on their site. By the time you're seeing this, they're probably long sold out. But, who knows? Maybe, by the grace of God, there's still a couple of them left on the site for you guys. So get there quick. It's the silhouette one, where it's got like the little box logo. Probably send Brandon a picture so I can put it in a video, so you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. And then the Wave logo with Muska sitting on it. It's fucking tight. But that's it, dude. It's a wrap for this video. I'm probably gonna leave here with one musket shoe and one action shoe one. That'd be tight. I could probably run so fast. All right, peace out, guys. Thank y'all for liking, commenting, and subscribing. All the good shit, as usual. And tune in next time so we can ramble on about other nonsense that doesn't really matter. Yes, sir. Peace. See ya. I need to restart this whole thing. I okay. fucked it all up. Let's do it. I fucked it all up.